question. Uh, I'm obsessed with New York skies. I think New York has some of the best skies that you can pay attention to. So look at it. Put this in front. Marvelous Dynamite Image, Volume Three, Number Twelve. Even in the comics, New York skies will stop you dead in your tracks as you move from panel to splash page to panel. Same way they do as you move from block to block to splashing in the puddle at whatever random intersection. Up there you see the maybe famous sky scratchers seemingly scraping the undersurface of clouds, the straight and narrow buildings reaching for more, often punctuated by the bosomy protuberance of water towers or the seductive winks of billboards and LED incantations. The background is broad brush strokes of early or late day flame tones, or the deep inked blots and bleeds of bruised nights, sometimes starry, sometimes the voids in between. At your feet, at least in some places, a regular grid that gives way to a jumble of streets and ankles is below your feet. Parallel rails trail uptown and downtown, crossing and crissing expressfully and locally. And whether on on-the-ground cement paths or on under-the-ground paths of iron, there is boundless cause for hope. I'm the two great men celebrating 20 years together, though recognized legally for only about a quarter of that. The two ladies lost in each other more than the city, or the guy with the girl clearly out of his league. But by the sound of her laugh, you can tell she meant it when she said, be witty, making me laugh is the quickest way to win me over. Yes. Even on the train, these skies are never far away, covering even the man with no legs, pogoing from one end of the car to the other, one end of the train to the other, donation bucket crooked in his arm when he's not rattling it against the train floor, one gloved, dirty hand turned skyward. Thank you. And I've got uh, just two more pieces. 